Body image after Corona. How do we maintain a positive body image after our body changed during quarantine? Hello everyone, my name is Mary and welcome to Rose Gold Mermaid where we talk all things mental health, mental clarity and intentional living. So glad you're with us today as we'll be talking about body positivity after quarantine, lockdown and coronavirus. The more I talk to my friends and my family members, I start to realize that many of us, if not all of us, are dealing with the serious weight gain after coronavirus quarantine. And there's nothing wrong with gaining weight, but so many of us are feeling guilty that we gained that weight. Many of us are struggling to maintain a positive body image after the lockdown. So I decided to make this video on body image after Corona to help you and to help myself realize that it's okay to have gained weight during lockdown. So let's dive in on why it's okay to have gained weight during Corona and a body image and body positivity after lockdown. So the first very important step is realizing that many, many, many of us have gained weight and have seen that our body changed during lockdown. I'm not the only person and you're not the only person who have gained weight over quarantine time. Quarantine time? What the? We are not the only people who are struggling with our positive body image after the lockdown. As I'm starting to meet my friends and family after lockdown, I'm starting to notice that many of them are struggling to accept the way their body looks after quarantine. And I can only assume that some of you have felt the way that I felt during quarantine. I felt kind of guilty for not exercising more. Even though I tried to do some yoga or do some rollerblading or going for walks and, you know, try to exercise a little bit, I just felt like that's not enough. And so I put so much pressure on myself to immediately go back into the way that I looked before lockdown that I just felt bad about myself and about my body that I have gained weight that I didn't want to gain. And as I've tried to develop a positive body image, in my case that didn't hurt me as much as it might have hurt some of my friends and some of you. But the moment you realize that other people are also struggling with it and most of us, if not all of us, have gained some weight during lockdown and after corona, that is just super helpful to realize we're not the only ones struggling with body image. I really can't stress this enough, but we are living in very weird times. I think it's safe to say that none of us being alive today have lived through a global pandemic before. So the global pandemic of coronavirus is something new to us. We're struggling to get through and just trying to get by day by day during these very difficult times. And so the times are different, so our bodies are also different. It's very important to realize that we can't expect our bodies to look exactly the same if everything around is different. You used to be commuting to school, to work, to university or to some extracurricular activities. I hate that word. <laughs> yeah, you were commuting a lot, right? You were going out with friends, you were taking long walks in foreign countries, in foreign cities and now you were sitting on your ass basically for at least three months. How do you expect your body to look the same way if you haven't lived the same way? Just as you can't expect an average person to run a marathon, you can't expect that your body will look the same if you're doing everything differently now. You had to adapt to the new normality, to quarantine, to lockdown, to coronavirus. And so your body had to adapt to all of that as well. So the main takeaway is don't expect your body to look the same if you are not doing the same. Even the simple commutes to work, or to school or uni were keeping your body in shape. So as you were lacking all of that, your body, well, went a little bit off shape. And that's okay, because it kept you healthy during lockdown and during the global pandemic of coronavirus. So if anything, you should be very thankful to your body for keeping you healthy. As I said before, we're living in weird, difficult times. There's a global pandemic and 2020 I guess is just, oh, yeah. 2020 hates us, let's just say it. 
There's a lot of stress and anxiety that we're feeling these days. Some of us might have relapsed on the symptoms of depression, anxiety and other mental health issues. And it has been scientifically proven that body react very wrong to stress. And so as our bodies are meeting more and more stress, every month through this 2020 they start to produce cortisol and mess with our hormones and where there's a hormonal imbalance there is also a weight imbalance so if you're stressed and i think you are and if you're anxious and i think you are it's obvious that our bodies will look different because they will try to adapt themselves to the situation that we're living through so if you add the stress and anxiety and uncertainty that we're living in currently, you get the equation, it all equals our bodies will be changing. So it's important to accept that because we can't change that. So as we live in the stressful and anxious times, our bodies are trying to adapt to the new normality and keep us safe. My God, if you're still alive, if you're still healthy and if you managed to live through this global pandemic that is not over yet, let's just remind ourselves that. Mm hmm. I see you. Bravo! It is so overlooked how important it is that your body kept you safe through all these months. You should be thankful and actually thank your body for keeping you in check, for keeping you healthy. And if it gained a little weight, so what? People are dying. Is it really that important if we gain a little weight? I know that it seems like the end of the world for some of us. And I understand that because I've been there for many, many years. But for a moment, try to change your mindset. You're living in a global pandemic, a global economic crisis. There are people tortured and killed for the color of their skin or for their sexuality. Democracy in many countries is falling down and well, Trump. These are very difficult times and so you should focus on staying healthy and keeping yourself alive and prioritizing mental health right now. And by prioritizing mental health, I also mean keeping, at least trying to keep a positive body image. You know, just look at yourself in the mirror and thank your body for keeping you alive this year. We all struggle with body image after Corona. And if you're still here watching a YouTube video, you're extremely lucky. Try to be thankful for being here and practice gratitude every day and practice being grateful for your body, for what it did and still is doing for you during Corona. And so I guess I'm going to leave you with a few tips on keeping, maintaining the positive body image after coronavirus and after quarantine and lockdown. Number one, if you find yourself in a situation where someone's very negative about their body and um, is complaining about the weight that they gained and you know, they're not trying to look positive and they are triggering you, try to walk away or change the subject or say something positive instead. Try to not let others get you into the conversation and about being negative and complaining about their bodies. It's a slippery slope and might very easily get you into discussing your flaws and what is wrong with your body and it may make you start questioning your own body. Try to avoid conversations that might make you feel worse about yourself. Tip number two is if you catch yourself saying something negative about, even in your mind, to yourself, to the way your body looks, try to stop that and say something positive instead. Try to tell yourself what's good about your body, what you like. So catch yourself on the negative talk and turn it into a positive. And I know that you might not feel like saying something positive about your body right now. Fake it till you make it, as they say, and try to stop the negative thinking. If you feel weird telling yourself nice stuff, try to distract yourself from thinking the negative. And it brings me to tip number three, which is practicing gratitude every day. The things you're grateful for don't have to have anything with body image, with body positivity. You can be grateful for your family, for your health, for the work that you're doing, or for your dog, which I am very thankful for. <laughs> so practice gratitude every day and you will see 
the tremendous effects it's gonna have on your life and on your body image because when you're grateful about other things you will also start noticing that you're grateful also for the way your body looks so I'm gonna end this video here and I will also just tell you to remember that most of us are suffering from body dysmorphia and also that the beauty industry made us all think that we are unworthy and that our bodies are shit which isn't true because we are all beautiful and we don't have to look like photoshopped dolls that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you took something from it and that it was in any way helpful. Leave a comment below what you are doing to maintain a positive body image after Corona or, you know, just every day on the regular basis. So thanks again for watching this video and if you liked it, feel free to subscribe to my channel um, so we can all help ourselves and inspire ourselves to live a more positive lifestyle. Thank you so much and see you in the next one!